All right, here we go. This is a custom 1v1 on duel between the blue player on the upper left, Stardog and the Medic Osprey, and his opponent, the carbon player in the bottom right, Boomhauer, also in the Medic Osprey. Yes, you are not dreaming. This is not This is not two years ago. This is Stardog versus Boomhauer, greatest matches won uh, itself, I think, one, right? Either way, Stardog with both his tournament trophies following him, Boomhauer with none of his three, but I guarantee you he does have them, Boomhauer going... Oh, Boomhauer and Stardog both going with Moneymaker builds. Uh, yeah, these two players definitely away for a while. Um, I don't know if they're aware of what the 1v1 meta is or if they don't even care. Um, I mean, to be quite honest, the current 1v1 meta might not be what the actual meta is simply because these two guys haven't been active. Uh, you can take that statement to the bank. I, I will definitely support that that uh, that notion. And Boomhauer getting caught by a Seeker uh, seeker drop from Stardog during a harassment attempt and Stardog taking him down. First blood does go to Stardog. Boomhauer has three Seekers in his, in his build queue, which is a little funny. Against an Osprey, especially as an Osprey, it's a little bit funny to see. I guess maybe as an Osprey, sure, because you need a little bit more or killing power against mechs, but, uh, you know, against an Osprey, you know, that's another thing. Either way, now Boomhauer going for a cheese, uh, but little, I don't know if he's really caught, oh, use, just using them for extra DPS for that Moneymaker, free DPS for the most part, and he does get it before Stardog can come back to respond. Stardog does catch that second one with his heal beam, and Boomhauer might not even survive this attempt as well. Boomhauer gonna go down here to Stardog, and two kills by Stardog. Boomhauer not able to get away there in that harassment attempt, probably... I mean, just in hindsight, was a little overextended due to that um, attempt at killing the second Moneymaker. Stardog going straight for mid, did lose one Longhorn first, but Boomhauer now uh, bunkering creeps, going to secure his forward, but not started the mid-fight at all. Just has Moneymakers, or no, sorry, Longhorn in his build queue, along with a few Seekers, uh, and Stardog going to continue this uh, mid-fight bringing some Longhorn down. Uh, Boomhauer trying to harass, might be able to fi finish one Longhorn. No, Stardog with incredibly fast reaction time and does go back and uh, heal the Moneymaker. So Boomhauer continually producing units. So that's definitely a good thing. Stardog has been able to clear just the Longhorn up here at front and this Seeker right here. So he's not dramatically ahead. He has been able to clear one of the Brutes on his side, but that's not that big of a deal at all, actually. It's probably almost uh, even. Like, it doesn't really matter if you kill specific side of Brutes for the most part in maps, uh, just because they're so minor compared to the, you know, whatever massive army you might have. Boomhauer not going to get finished off this time. Chasing Stardog back. Stardog definitely uh, has to get back to his close before he gets killed. Definitely does that. And Boomhauer just... Let's see, nine Longhorn down on the field with three in queue, and Stardog with a meager army in terms of defense. Boomhauer could technically push through this. Stardog finally scouting over here, does see it, has another Longhorn in queue, might grab this other one over here for uh, yeah, support. Oh, but he does not grab the other Longhorn. Uh, probably going to start to form a defensive line. Did Boomhauer set this to Y, or did he set this to T? That's the question. Oh, and trying to do a thwomp there, but uh, probably not aware that the... Uh, Heavy Mines instantly detonate, so these two incredibly experienced, not very um, active players uh, playing, uh, funnily enough, a little bit of an old style. This looks like an early beta build, and Stardog getting himself killed by a Seeker. And Boomhauer pushing all the way through. He's going to do a mass hold, but will, what good will it do? He's very low on health. Really needs to avoid Secret Fire, and both players are down, or at least were for a split second. Stardog now coming back to the field, trying to heal up what he can. Needs to start to micro, so he can try to kill as many of Boomhauer's Longhorn as he can. Boomhauer now respawning from the field. Stardog going to bring out a couple more Longhorn on the field. Like, same thing with Boomhauer, but will Boomhauer try to pull back, or will... Okay, there is nothing to pull back at this point, so Boomhauer, 15 to 39, and will probably go down one more time, and Boomhauer getting finished off. Stardog... Uh, yeah, just, uh, has a huge lead at this point, has a lot of units sitting over here, can easily push in and get a surround on mid, or even go for a, um, a quick grab and go for a T to push straight to Boomhauer's forward, and that might actually work, but Boomhauer is back here for defense, he's Stardog not pu pushing out, and none of them using the new, uh, path mechanic, I mean, I would not ser wouldn't necessarily expect them to, they've both been away for an incredibly long time, and now Boomhauer leapfrogging up with his Osprey, uh, against another Osprey, it is a little bit dangerous too, just because the Osprey has a post support and you know a two to one upkeep advantage. I mean, the Boomhauer is not 100% aware of the uh, you know the ratio, but he's definitely aware that Stardog has a lot more tanks on the field than him. But Boomhauer actually making up for little for a lot of lost ground, finishing off two Longhorn and uh, does get two of his own killed. However, so now Stardog with that mid outpost under his control, just pumping out tanks. Man, such uh, 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 no artillery actually on the field. Like I, I want to point that out. I was gonna comment again on kind of the old look of this uh, this uh, 
of this this play style and start out trying to get this outpost neutralized here but did he set them on t i don't think oh yeah they i think they are prioritizing on the post uh, except for this longhorn here is not maybe these two weren't actually set on t maybe they're set on c and they just have determined that the outpost was closer i really would wish that i could actually tell which uh, command each uh, unit was uh, being given and now Stardog trying to cheese this close however with a level four creeps definitely much harder to do than the olden days uh, that makes him sound like an old geezer. I know he's actually younger than me in real life. But either way, Stardog uh, trying to just bring even more soldiers. Soldier, I don't know if you can even call this spam, but Boomhauer bringing one artillery piece. I'm not really sure why. Uh, probably just uh, not necessarily a missed micro, but that's just what he had in queue at the time. He is starting the artillery fight here. Will Stardog get a jammer down? He has no jammer. Actually, neither of these players have jammers out on the field. Was this a uh, something agreed upon? I'm not sure, but Stardog um, has a lot of ratchets out of the field, but against Archie's of the current of you know the current patch without a jamming unit in the field it's incredibly dangerous starting artillery fighter of his own but boomhauer is now evening up the score uh, or at least getting close to it boomhauer already with a birth out on the field um stardog with two coming out but none out on the field quite yet but stardog with quite a lot of longhorn over here boomhauer trying to harass what stardog has down here and moving around to distract the tank fire but stardog will be able to win this fight if boomhauer does not bring more reinforcements or pull back with four tanks in the area it's quite a lot to defeat stardog has not decided to leapfrog more tanks up and has not moved his tanks out at all uh, but he's actually real on energy maybe oh man an artillery has hit him will he go down boomhauer gonna lift off and try to get this kill but not able to get that lift off in time but boomhauer really low in health as well oh man stardog finishing off boomhauer right now and now stardog will be able to finish off a lot of the units over here without a mech presence in the area Stardog and Boomhauer fighting with artillery with no jammers. Hilarious and crazy. Uh, I guess Stardog did cancel those two Berthas in his queue. Oh no, I am wrong. He hid them in the trees. Hid them from me, uh, but now he will be able to uh, pretty much clear everything Boomhauer has with those two Berthas on in the field. Uh, Boomhauer does have one on the field, though. It's 26 to 53. Stardog has a slightly more than 2 to 1 upkeep advantage right now. Well, now 53 to 24. But either way, Stardog with a lot of ratchets out on the field as well. So Boomhauer will definitely lose this artillery fight. He tries to keep going. An Osprey alone is not. The, uh, the same at all as the unlimited outpost metas of the past. And right now, Boomhauer trying to keep up with Stardog's tank drops, but Stardog has way too many units because he has that advantage. Uh, Boomhauer pulling back his artillery, but Stardog with way too many tanks. Boomhauer already with a Gothic goalie out on the field. And, but he will be he will lose this outpost now to Stardog's tanks, and he probably will kill get a lot of his units finished off right now. Stardog trying to heal and um, and you know salvage what he can, I guess. But Boomhauer forced to pull back one at a time. A lot of his units are going to go down. 51 to 21. Boomhauer might not be able to uh, come back at all in this game. Let's see how he actually approaches this. The uh, Bertha's. If it, I guess it depends on how Stardog approaches and how Boomhauer decides to uh, make his unit allocation. If if Stardog plays more standard, uh, you know, not necessarily standard, but um, Leapfrog style with mostly uh, tanks in his Leapfrog and Boomhauer is more artillery. Obviously, the artillery advantage will win in Leapfrog style depending on how aggressive the Leapfrog is and the angle of approach, I guess. Boomhauer trying to harass with a single goalie. Needs to deal with a couple of creeps that have already reached his, four, his, uh, his close outpost, but Stardog with goalie, goalies out of the field himself has, let's see, two goalies out on the field, one coming out. Boomhauer does have this, just just this one, but one um, one is, or sorry, two more are coming out on the field, so it will be about even in terms of the goalie count, but in terms of the overall upkeep, it's 22 to 16. Stardog is way ahead. Stardog might be able to just do a massive push to either Boomhauer's close or to his fort and get this win right now, but Stardog does not choose to do that quite yet. Uh, eight minutes have already passed in the game. Oh, but Boomhauer grabbing the box. Stardog did not take, oh man, he did not grab the other box either. Uh, the second box, probably Stardog Stardog will go for it now just because he's noticed Boomhauer grabbing it. Boomhauer not going to be able to grab it in time. Uh, so it will be an even credit box um, sell at this point. Stardog trying to finish off Boomhauer here but not going to be able to get that kill. Boomhauer staying right on top of Stardog flying away there. And now Boomhauer trying to keep his tanks alive but he has lost his outpost back to neutral. And Stardog with even more Berthas coming out, he probably, I mean, with this outpost advantage, with the unit advantage, probably could just go heavily into tanks and push through whatever Boomhauer has, but he is taking a more standard safe approach with a, with a Bertha firing down here. And Boomhauer now going to be able to finish off this one goalie that Stardog has on the field. Oh, actually, Boomhauer has Gothic Blasters, which is a little bit hilarious. Um, I, you know, Gothic goalies, Gothic Blasters. Uh, I don't really see Gothic Blasters that much. A little surprising, actually. But Stardog with a pretty solid defensive, or not defensive, offensive artillery line over here. And Boomhauer dropping a single goalie, but in front of a contesting goalie, Stardog bringing even more artillery. Boomhauer will probably be forced to retreat it. Or, okay, heal it up. And uh, we'll be able to keep it alive. Three goalies over here. Man, this is a lot of firepower. And Boomhauer distracting whatever other tanks that Stardog has in the area. Uh, Stardog uh, now bringing another goalie 
to, for support, but Boomhauer with the outpost support in the area, able to leapfrog a lot better than uh, Stardog right now, and might be able to get the upper hand in this fight. Stardog bring another goalie. Man, this really, really feels like like the pre-jammer meta style, especially with Osri. However, uh, outposts right now have limited energy, so you definitely can't play it the same. But uh, two Seekers coming out of the field for Stardog will definitely pre prevent Boomhauer from uh, supporting his units. And now Stardog coming with a couple soldiers. Uh, will he be able to take this outpost under his control? No, the goalies do knock down one soldier before it gets uh, up to blue. And Stardog will have to start over once more. Does not have soldiers in queue except for that single one. Does have just the, just the uh, Berthas, or sorry, the goalie. But right now, Boomhauer has three goalies in queue. Gonna try to, um, I don't know what he's gonna try to do, actually. Can I see? Uh, okay, he's not drawing path for sure. And even if he was, that would not really make sense, the path that he's drawing. So the Birth is firing in. Uh, this outpost will go down to neutral over and over and over again as the Birth has knocked down the belts incredibly quickly. Boomhauer trying to get whatever, lit ener whatever little energy he can out of that outpost, but not gonna be able to do the very much. But a lot of goalies coming out for Boomhauer, actually. And once, I mean, the same exact thing for Stardog. Uh, he is now finally moving him out, commanding one at a time. Man, where are we? Are we in like, are we in 2012 right now? I'm so confused what's happening, uh, <laughs> dropping every single one on an in individual command. I mean, in that case, it did, it was warranted to, act, to, you know, drop like that in those commands. But, I mean, it's just so funny to see this, especially artillery play without jammers. Boomhauer trying to keep up here and moving out his goalies while Stardog's goalies are also moving in. Oh, man, this is going to be a little bit crazy. Three goalies for Stardog, eight, no, seven goalies for Boomhauer. Eight coming down now. But Stardog microing the Longhorn to Boomhauer's fort. Boomhauer is going to be forced to pull back. Uh, and he's just going to micro. Probably not going to use the new pathing. And yes, he's just going to micro right now. Uh, Stardog is just trying to get more corner attack. But with the Longhorn, doesn't actually matter. Because Longhorn have the same exact armor as uh, Fort Armor. Or sorry, same exact weapon as Fort Armor is. But Boomhauer getting decent blocking off right now. Stardog's goalies, I think they all died. Either that or he... No, yeah, I think they probably died. Except for the one that was over here. But now they are all gone. 41 to 82. Stardog has a huge upkeep advantage. And now microing his Bertha's... To, for a defensive position, assume Boomhauer might go up, but he actually went to the close. So uh, this, oh no, he didn't actually re-micro it, did he? God, it's so hard to see, but I thought that he did. Uh, it would have made sense either way. But Stardog now forced to pull back one more time. I am a little surprised to see him not just do, uh, you know, a lot of Birth of Fire in and move the goalies in the, you know, in the range of that Birth of Fire, move his goalies um, just so he could actually leapfrog up. Uh, even if Boomhauer, Boomhauer moved up to here, I think the positioning would definitely be worth it to be able to get the uh, the advantage on the on the close right now. But Moomhauer once again forced to pull back. The Birth of Fire is just way too much to handle. If you have anything in that area, and he actually might lose this last goalie, uh, coming back to all the way back to his fort to heal, and oh, not able to save that Goliath. And actually, his second goalie also goes down. Looks like normal carbon Longhorn debris, so they might want to update that sometime soon. But yeah, Stardog now going to start to grab this uh, bottom left outpost the close outpost on Boomhauer's side, and gonna artillery war for the fort, which is a little hilarious to see. He has a, let's see, not, or eight, uh, eighth in his build queue, eight to, oh, never mind, Boomhauer has about eight, uh, eight finished already, and two more coming out, so a lot of Stardog's upkeep is actually in birth, as he has five on the field, eight ratchets, while Boomhauer has nothing but seven goalies and just those moneymakers he has left, so uh, it, I guess it is a little bit dangerous for Stardog to just do a death push, but Stardog might be able to just win by Bertha's only right now, I mean, uh, it's very clear that he'll probably win, but now Boomer, Boomhauer is going to do an all-in. Does he set these on T or does he set them on Y? Stardog obviously scouting that, but how will Boomhauer actually approach this? I'm assuming those are set on Y because they are not curving at all right now. Yes, they are just set on Y. That's very dangerous to do. Uh, Stardog could easily base race and win this depending on what Boomhauer decides to do with his T or you know these, these sent out um, goalies. And uh, yeah, now has plenty of stuff and he is going to just start to drop at the fort. And Boomhauer trying to come back and defend. He did so oh, he did not set these two uh, to hold position. So he's desperately going to try to keep up with uh, Stardog's goalies dropped here. Uh, but it, there's three. And Boomhauer's at about half life right now. These are definitely not going to reach the fort. And Stardog uh, just healing up his goalies. Boomhauer trying to not even, oh, well, can't even produce more. It's 40 to 40. And Boomhauer uh, needs to come back and defend. But this is probably going to be it. There's way too many Longhorn here at, or, I'm sorry, goalies here for Stardog at Boomhauer's fort. Uh, Boomhauer trying to get whatever blocking off he can. But too long, or two goalies versus four or five I'm sorry and that's going to be it Stardog grabbing this 1v1 on duel custom friendly game but yeah Boomhauer has definitely been away much much longer than Stardog um, 
or not necessarily a way. Actually, Stardog was technically way longer, but Stardog has come back recently a little bit more to play a little bit. So Boomhauer is way more out of practice than Stardog for sure. So that's definitely reasons. Those are definitely reasons, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, yeah, but a uh, very, very nostalgic game actually in the current build, which is pretty hilarious, I would say. Um, but yeah, these two legends of the sport duking out, duking it out for fun, old school style with no jammers. And uh, yeah, once again, uh, Stardog taking it over Boomhauer, but uh, greatest match just one has definitely happened more than one time just never sent to me before now all right guys uh, if you have any replays send it to me and you spectate any legends playing legends of the sport tournament champions anyone that has been considered some of the greatest players of all time champion or not please let me know this is rui and that is game see you next time